All right, g'day IB psychologists. In this video, you're gonna learn how to write perfect operational definitions for your research hypotheses for the internal assessment. This is really important. You need this to get top marks. So operational definitions, before you can write your definitions, you have to know, well, what does this word mean? An operational definition is how your variables are defined in the context of your research. So when we study things like memory or schema, stereotypes, mood, comprehension, these are really broad, vague, general. And so we have to have very specific definitions of these things. You have to define your IV and your DV. And you think about your independent variable, to recap, is what you're manipulating, right? And your dependent variable is what you're measuring. So I like to think of just, just think of M&Ms, right? Manipulating, measuring. So your independent variable, when you describe it clearly, or when you have an operational definition, how you're manipulating your particular independent variable, you're going to end up with a, a summary of the two conditions of your particular experiment. For the dependent variable, when you write an operational definition, you have to write very specifically exactly what are you measuring, how are you measuring it, right? So what device or instrument are you using? So many of you are doing some sort of comprehension test or some sort of test or a quiz or a review. What is it that you're uh, measuring? How are you measuring it? Okay, and so that is your operational definition of your IV and your DV, right? Let's have a look at some examples. Again, these come from studies that you can't replicate yourself because uh, I don't want you to copy the answers. I want you to figure it out for yourself. Okay, so here's some classic examples, right? So Cialdini's hotel field study on hotel towels, we've got this in the textbook. The independent variable is social influence. They're gonna manipulate social influence to try to see if it has an effect on compliance. Now, again, these are pretty broad terms. So the operational definition would be, the phrasing of the hotel card that either includes the percentage of people who have reused towels or focuses on the environmental benefits. So the independent, how they're manipulating social uh, influence is by the phrasing of the hotel card. And you can see here in my example, I've clearly described the differences between the two cards. That's what makes this an operational definition. The compliance is measured by the percentage of people who reuse their towels, a very specific measurement of compliance. These are two operational definitions. Final example, red case study on testosterone in the brain. So the independent variable is testosterone levels, the dependent variable is brain activity. The operational definition could be, participants were given 0.5 milligrams of testosterone or a placebo, right? describing clearly the two um, conditions of the experiment. The brain activity is measured, the um, operational definition, the activity of the amygdala. We measured using fMRI while participants are exposed to faces displaying different types of emotions. Now, I would probably even in here, I could put brackets. Um, what types of emotions they are. So let's now take a look at an example IA. This is one I created for the teacher support pack. This is based on a topic that couldn't be replicated by students, just so you can't uh, copy and paste what's written here. In fact, it'd be pretty unethical to do this study on other students. And I did, never did it. This is completely fictional, just before you think uh, I actually did this study. But anyway, to show your operational definitions, I recommend writing your IV and your DV clearly in the introduction. And then the rubric states that you must have your operational definitions either in your research or your null hypothesis. Now it makes more sense to put it in your research hypothesis and keep your null hypothesis pretty simple. Now in actual fact, since writing this, we've learned that you can have your operational definitions separate from the research hypothesis themselves and still score high marks. So what I would suggest doing is putting your IV and your DV like this, quite simple, and then also having the operational definitions of your IV and your DV. Teachers might remember this is what we did for the old uh, assessment. And then I would also recommend though that you try to include that operational definition of your IVs and DVs in your research hypothesis itself. Now here is my example. Watching a video portraying the thin ideal in a Baywatch film trailer increases body dis dissatisfaction more than watching a clip with normal body types in the Grown Ups film trailer as measured using the body shape questionnaire BSQ34. What you've seen here is my research hypothesis has fully operational defined variables because I state clearly the difference between the two conditions. We know what's going to happen in this condition compared to this condition. That's my independent variable. And we know exactly how I'm going to measure it with my dependent variable because I've stated the questionnaire, the tool that I'm going to use. I find that using these brackets is a really good way to add specific details of the different conditions in the research hypothesis. So that's something that you might want to try. All right, I hope that was helpful. There we go, operational definitions. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but uh, just take the time. And it takes editing and editing and practice and practice. So keep checking in with your teacher. Uh, you're not gonna get it right the first time. And so, you know, the more you write it, the more you improve it, the more you tweak it, uh, the better it will become. Good luck. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. If that was helpful, you might want to check out our uh, internal assessment teacher support pack and the ebook for the IA chapter is also available on the store. Uh, so feel free to download the previews now and check those out.